There's something I never thought would come out of my mouth. I rode 9,000 miles on a bike. <laughs> Hello everybody, Papa Blue Shirt here. Today is an exciting day. Today, I go over 9,000 miles. So we're real excited. And it's a beautiful morning, about 65 degrees. And the birds are chirping. And uh, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna do our 9,000 mile review. Um, I'll probably ride first, cause it's a little bit dark right now. <laughs> and uh, then I'll come back and I'll let you know how things have went so far and if I've had to do any repairs or anything in this 9,000 miles. So let's get going. Look how bald my tire is. <laughs> I've just been waiting and waiting to change my tire. And during the process of me waiting to change that one, the front one has went bald. <laughs> so I need to change both of the tires. But anyways, there's our starting miles. 9.92 and 8,000 on there because I turned it over as you can see from the video up above if you'd like to see that one I'll leave a link down below but alrighty and my 9,000 mile adventure starts now and yesterday I went out to go and got up here and realized that my battery wasn't charged my battery charger kicked off had a Wi-Fi outlet to turn on at a certain time and it didn't turn on for some reason so I had to come back and change and use a battery I hadn't used in months and uh, I didn't go as far I babied it and I still ran out <laughs> uh, but I ran out real close to home so I didn't have to ride you know, too far but uh, yeah really really tell the difference from one battery to the next this battery I got here I've had the best luck out of Ooh, look at that sunrise it's one thing about riding in the morning get to see these beautiful sunrises also get to see school buses <laughs> I don't like passing school buses but I usually don't see too many of them but uh, yeah so 9,000 miles wow can hardly believe it it's kind of a different sunrise it's a little bit cool out here this morning as we're getting further in the weather here we look at the sunrise beautiful beautiful morning a little cool as I said but we'll warm up as I ride now you should when you start out you should be a little bit cool especially on these days like this because if you dress too warm you'll start to sweat and then you'll really get cold and so I've learned to do it that way and it is a little cool <laughs> but we'll warm up in a second here well I decided to go straight today Give you some more views of this beautiful sunrise. I've been riding probably between 16 and 20 miles a day. Um, this, ba this battery is getting a little bit weak now. I mean, nothing, nothing big, but to do the. To do my 20 miles if there's any kind of wind or anything I'll I'll start to run out at the end so I've been leaning back more for 16 mile 18 mile just so I don't have to worry about it isn't that a beautiful sunrise and of course as you know I always ride on number five the fastest I can go so Kind of wondering how long these tires are gonna last. It's funny. Back when I changed my sprocket, um, I was saying 
you know, I put a new tire on then. And then as time went on, I kept saying, I need to change my tire, I need to change my tire. And I put, <laughs> put 3,000 miles on it since then. So you can really take these for a long time. But my tires looking, my tires uh, now look more at home on a, on a drag strip or something than they do on an off-road bike. <laughs> They're pretty slick. But we'll see how it goes. Get you one more view of this beautiful sunrise here. Yeah, I watched a video a while back whew, about how if you lock the steering wheel on a on a bike, you can't ride it. And uh, it's a really interesting video. But as I put nine, as I approach nine thousand miles, um, I have a flat spot in my headset in the bearings and it's like a notch and so when I turn it, it that catches on that notch and so it really brings the forefront really brings brings to the surface what that video was uh, talking about I'll try to leave a link to that down below but uh, yeah and so now it's like I'm I'm uh, losing my balance all the time I'll talk about it more when I go get back to the house when I do my review, but and uh, I did take it all apart and I re-greased it and cleaned it up real good, re-greased it. It did seem to help a little bit, but it just moved the notch over a little bit <laughs> to a different position. So uh, there's, there's a flat spot on your bearing, just putting some grease on it is not going to help a whole lot. Just so you know, it doesn't help a whole lot. <laughs> it did help a little bit, but but I reached out to the company and finally figured out what I needed to order. So they sent me an invoice today. So be on the lookout for that the patio. I'm going to change the headset in this, the headset bearings, and uh, I'll be sure to post that because I looked everywhere on YouTube, couldn't find anyone who had changed the headset in one of these and uh, probably because there's no one else who went 9,000 miles if you went more than 9,000 miles on an e-trick why don't you leave a comment uh, down below I haven't heard of anybody I'm the only crazy one I guess <laughs> well there's a dog up here I'm trying to befriend he keeps he runs so fast there he is the road <laughs> well, here's the house that was destroyed by the tornado they're finally getting it rebuilt here I stopped going this way for a couple of times and I was going to put the siding on and the roofing so, hopefully they'll get their lives back to normal it's been uh, nine months since the tornado and that's where they're at I think they've been living in the camper. So I'm sure they'll be happy to get back in their house. There it is. 1,000 miles. Add eight under that, so you got 9,000 miles. That was pretty cool. Well, there you go. There's my 9,000 miles. Like I said, I'll do a review on the bike when I get back to the house. But uh, overall, it's been a really fun adventure. I am wondering when I get to 10,000 if EcoTrick could give me a new bike. <laughs> oh, that's probably wishful thinking, but sure it would be nice. Get a brand spanking new bike to try out. That beautiful tree.
Ooh, that smells good, dude. Just imagine the lilac smell. That's what I'm smelling right now. Really good smell. Uh, especially in the outdoors. <laughs> you put it in the air freshener in the car, you know, sometimes it can be overpowering, but out here it was really nice. There's a deer up here. Let's see if I can see it here. Ooh, it's a buck. Nice buck. I used to hunt in my younger years. See something like that in the woods, that'd be something. <laughs> now it's just plain beautiful. Out there all by himself. Boy, it stinks here. Going by this uh, chicken barn. I go from lilacs to chicken barn. I prefer the lilac. <laughs> oh man, don't like this man. And you may be wondering why this has a thousand miles on it, and I'm saying that's eight thousand. Well, these can these controllers are set up for kilometers. They will show miles, but they're set up for kilometers. And so when it gets to ten thousand kilometers it uh, turns over and so that'd be 6280 or 6250 or something like that i tried to put a thing on the screen for what it is actually and uh when you get to that point it's going to turn over on you and uh so along the way when i got the 7000 i just uh turned it back to zero because it'd be easier for me to keep track and then when I went to 8,000, I turned it back to zero again. And uh, I was gonna do it this time, but I wasn't in a good, I wasn't in a good position on the on the road to do it. So I'll just leave it and just add 8,000 miles on there. Oh. Bug. Then when we get to 10,000, I'll reset it for sure, and we'll start over again. I thought I saw it. I'm just buggy up here. Maybe. Be careful when I record how much buggy because they get upset. They don't like to be recorded. Those evil cameras. No, I guess it was. It was just a bunch of stuff that looked like I pass a few on a regular basis. So they're on their way to work. And yes, Amish do work. A lot of the younger ones will go and work for other people. And older ones, a lot of them have their own business. Yeah, Mama Blue Shirt told me that uh, she's almost to 5,000. So that's really good for her, especially after her accident, her crash. Yep, she was going down the hill and she was hauling some mail and the mail went to fall and so she hit the brake real hard and it was the front brake and over the handlebar she went messed up her knee but she's back out there again she said it, it, it hurts but she's still riding she's not gonna give up so that's good don't want to lose my riding partner but this morning it was too cold for her to go this early so and she had to go get get uh, groceries so I went alone today. Yeah, I really like it through here. Except when I meet a car. <laughs> kind of an old, old country road. There's really no houses down on this part. So they don't keep the road up very good. Well, my dog was out there again. Come right up on me. Tried to give him a bone. He kind of smelt it, but he didn't see it when I dropped. I, I noticed that dogs don't see real well up close or something, because most of the time when I try to give dogs a bone, unless I'm stopped, they don't even 
even see it. But he'll find it on the road later and he'll, maybe he'll realize that I'm not the enemy, that I'm a food source, <laughs> and he'll stop chasing me. I've learned there ain't no sense in me trying to outrun him because he's really fast, especially if he's on the road. If was, I keep him in the grass, I can usually stay ahead of him, but he enjoys that. So I take it away from him. Now he just kind of, when I stop, he just kind of runs in the woods, <laughs> which is usually the case. Usually those dogs that like to pursue, if they ever caught you, they wouldn't know what to do. I mean, I'm not saying there isn't dogs out there that, that would bite you because there are, but for the most part, the majority of them, they just want to run. You know, they're looking for the pursuit. So if you can take that away from them, then maybe they'll stop. I have several dogs that I've done that to. And a lot of times they don't even chase me anymore. So it's you. I ain't gonna deal with you today. <laughs> There's a buck out there with two does. Would have got it better for you, but there's a car coming, as you heard. Well, I've seen two bucks today. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen that in two separate places. I've seen two bucks together before, but so it must be cool enough at night for them to get excited or something. Or maybe the rut has started. Yeah. Right there's a scary sight when you're when you're five miles from home. When you're five miles from home with that thing blinking, that's kind of scary. <laughs> but when I stop, it goes two bars. And unlike the battery I had yesterday, this one usually goes to one. The battery I had yesterday, it stops at two bars, so I never know when I'm going to run out on that one. These are the kind of dogs I like. They just kind of sit there. Look at you as you go by. Don't pay much mind to you. Hey, buddy. Hey, girl. <laughs> Guess that's a girl. My mind goes to Buddy because I had a dog like that and his name was Buddy. <laughs> so, yep, my son had his dog. His name was Buddy. So whenever I see a dog like that, it reminds me of Buddy. But Buddy was a little taller than that. But the same markings. I'm a Cheryl in full force today. Eh, look at them all there. Yep. A couple of hay cutters. Pulling with the horses. Yeah, they were nice. They waved to me. Yeah, most of them are pretty nice. You get a few on your ones just like you do with anybody. I wonder if my other dogs will be out here. There's two Shetlands up here that their herding instinct they just come out and they just, it was in bark all over me all the time. I don't know if they're out today or not. But once again, if I stop, they just kind of look at me. I don't see him. If they were out, they would be out here. Nope, made it through today. Ooh, there's a tree. Yeah, I probably missed it. It's hard to study the camera on something behind you. It's hard enough in the front of me <laughs> on a bike. Yeah, I'm thinking about changing my brakes. Probably be a while before I ride a motorcycle again. Because uh, usually on a motorcycle in the US, the front brakes on the on the right because the left one is the clutch. And uh, 
but the most bikes are the opposite in America the right hand is the front is the rear and the left hand is the front and so my my wife and my daughter her bike are the opposite and so whenever I try to ride their bike it really messes with me but I've been hesitant to make the change but maybe I'll do that looks like it's pretty easy my friend over at Southern e-biking he um he switched his and he's got a nice video on there to show you how so maybe I'll do the same well we made her back let's see what this thing looks like after 9,000 miles that's where we ended a thousand nine miles at 8,000 so that's nine thousand and nine miles all righty as I've shown you earlier tired of getting pretty bald pretty bald won't be long I'll be having to change that I don't know if you can if you can hear that that's my headset bearing my headset bearing uh like I said earlier it's got like a flat spot in it so right there it uh it kind of uh, catches so I'm gonna have to be changing that I took it all apart so it's not gonna be that hard of a thing to do uh, I reached out to Ecotrick and figured out which one to get and it looks like it's only $15 so be on the lookout for that video I'll be showing you how I fix that but other than that I still have the original front tire and the back one I changed it like 2500 so what would that be about 6500 miles on that one who can ride knobby tires on the road <laughs> it'll just wear the knobs off but and then also I put a sprocket on As you can see I need to clean it up again but uh yeah and I put these I put this light on here on my wheels I'll put a video of the of the lights here but uh I got that for Christmas and since I'm riding in the morning sometime before dark I mean before daylight um I can use that to make me be seen a lot more but I also put a new one of these on uh not because uh it just went bad it's because like I uh because I crashed <laughs> And it broke. I taped it up with some black tape, but I was able to get a brand new one. Other than that, um, my seat, I got probably 5,000 miles on this seat. It's really nice. And it's orange, it match, matches my bike. I went through several seats before I finally got one I like. I'll put a link for that down below. And plus, I got, I got my bag and stuff that goes in the back that I can put my extra battery in. But And these little mud flaps. I put those on those help um, but other than that I haven't had no major problems um, like I said having the headset bearings go out after 9,000 miles is the biggest thing that's happened so far be on the lookout for that video I'll be doing that real soon because I'll be ordering that today but everything else can't think of nothing else still have the original brakes <laughs> believe it or not still have the original brakes there it is still have the original brakes probably should change those soon overall i've been very happy with the bike um like i said 9,000 miles <laughs> if you told me two years ago that i'd be riding a bike and put 9,000 miles i'd have said you're crazy but uh yeah well thanks for coming along with me for this 9,000 mile review <laughs> uh, like i said me and michael trick has got a lot of miles on us 
<laughs> a lot of miles on us. But uh, it's brought me a lot of enjoyment. It's a, uh, yeah. There's something I never thought would come out of my mouth. I rode 9,000 miles on a bike. <laughs> Anyways, this is Papa Blue Shirt. Thank you so much for watching. And may the good Lord take a liking to you. May the good Lord take a liking to you. Hallelujah. May he spread his blessings on your trail. Hallelujah. May he be your guide anywhere you ride. And be always your host when you're needing him most. May the good Lord take a liking.